inside. Okay, so one, two, two. In this puzzle, your students are going to experiment in categorizing polygons, all different shapes and sizes of polygons. They're going to do that using Venn diagrams, but not the Venn diagram that they experienced in elementary school and probably got bored of. Instead of this three-question Venn diagram, we're going to deal with a five-question Venn diagram. So, like in the three-question Venn diagram, for example, if your polygon has got some parallel sides, then you place it inside this tan region. If it does not have parallel sides, then you cannot place it within this tan region. So let's look at an example. Here is a polygon. The first question, is it a pentagon? Well, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. It is a pentagon. Are all of the sides of equal length? Well, clearly not. So we can say no to that. Does it have mirror symmetry? Yes, it does have mirror symmetry. Is it concave? Now your students might not know what concave and convex are. Concave means that it's possible to find two points in your polygon such that the line that joins them is not all within the polygon. So there's an example of a line that shows that this polygon is concave. If you can't find a line like that, then you call it convex. So it is concave. The last question, are there two sides that are parallel? No. You can see that. For example, are those two sides parallel? No, because they intersect at a point. Are those two lines parallel? No. And you can go through all of the different combinations and you can prove to yourself that no, there are no two lines that are parallel in this polygon. So we have to find a place for that polygon inside our Venn diagram. Does it go in the middle? No, because the middle would mean that this is a pentagon, that all of its sides are equal, that it is mirror symmetry, that it is concave, and that it has some parallel sides. So clearly it doesn't go in the middle. Does it go over here? Well, that looks good because that is not within the purple shape, so that means that all of the edge lengths are not equal, which is true. So that looks good, but it unfortunately is also inside the tan shape which means that that polygon would have to have some parallel sides, and we know that it doesn't. So this isn't the right place either. The right place is over here. That is outside of both the purple and tan regions. Okay, red and blue, red and blue. Red, 22 is easy. Okay, 22. Red and blue here. Hold on. 15. In order to facilitate a classroom discussion, I've labeled each region in the Venn diagram. One and only one of each of these polygons goes into each region. What number was it? 14? Isn't there supposed to be one in each? Yeah, there should just be one in each, unless I've made a mistake. Here is the answer. So, are you ready? Okay, so turn off the video if you don't want the answer. Here we go. That is the answer. I find it easier if the students first of all choose a polygon 
and then find which region it goes in, rather than choosing a region and then looking through the list of 30 polygons to find which one would match. So choose a number. What number do you want? C3. I would choose. I would choose a number on the on the page. Twenty one. Okay. Now let's answer questions about twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Is it a pentagon? Yes. It is. Five edges. Um, all edges. All edge lengths are equal for twenty one or not? No. No. Yeah. Oh. For twenty one, this looks much longer than that. Um, has mirror symmetry? Yes. Yes. Is concave? Yes. It has some parallel lines. Okay, so we want blue and green to be yes. Right? Blue and green to be yes. So inside the blue and green, outside everything else? And what about pentagon? Isn't oh, it blue, green, red? oh, it is it pentagon. Mirror. Sorry. It has a mirror. You're right, you're right. I was wrong. F3. It's red, red, F3. blue, and green. F F3. Oh, sorry, it was red as well. Red, F3. blue, and green. F3, F3. Red as well. Yeah, yeah. F3. I was wrong. E4. E4, yeah. Red, blue, and green. Red, blue, blue. And, and green, oh, and green. Green, what about this? Red, Red blue, blue, and green. Correct, D4. Would all the edge lines be equal on this one? Yeah, unless it's really obvious, like 21, <coughs> that's obvious they're not all equal. But for one, yeah, they're all equal. Can we have more than one in each of them? Or is it no, it should only be one, unless I've made a mistake, and I could have made a mistake. What about uh, 14 for B5? No, B5. 14. Um, 14 should not have mirror symmetry. Yeah. What do you mean? It doesn't have music. It doesn't really. It's kind of like a fallen apart house.